2014 is a year. A year that has happened. We choose to work for the world as it should be. As our children deserve it to be. And some games came out. The Japanese are wrong. Then I don't want to be right. This list is my epitaph to the year and a complete comprehensive guide to what games you should buy this 2014 holiday season. Indeed, it is my top games for you to open up with a smile on Christmas Day. <laughs> what? Christmas is already over, but it was just Halloween a few days ago. Okay then, never mind. This is my top 10 games that if it was still almost Christmas, you could have asked for them for Christmas and enjoyed them. <laughs> Wait, what? I only played six games from last year? All right, all right, all right. It'll have to be my top six games that if it was still almost Christmas, you could... Um... What was I doing again? If there's one thing this game gives you, instead of phallic imagery up your brain hole and lovely glossy eyes, it's a complete guide to how Santa Claus delivers his presents each year. Everything from opening a door, to opening a door with an orange thing on it for some reason, to the intense opening a door with a space blowtorch. I can't wait till we have visors on our blowtorches and flashlights in our gaming headsets. Just like Father Christmas, this game is also royally unfair in some places and will dump the alien in the worst possible location with the most stubborn attitude it can find itself in. If you like to play your games from inside a steel cage or as that fishy guy from the Old Republic, then you'll really enjoy this game. Uh, fishy, 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 <laughs> come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Compared to other modern games, like Dragon Age Origins, or that one Mass Effect that was the worst thing ever made, it also has a lot of endings. All these endings can and must be seen in one playthrough. My advice is to stop playing at a good one and save yourself getting the achievement from dying to the alien a hundred times. Rip Scott Manley. I am Scott Manley. Fly safe. This is a great one for the Christmas season as it just took about that long to fix the major quest line. Warlords of Draenor is most notable for introducing the garrison system, which means you get to be the commander of either the Alliance or the Horde, depending on if you like to wank to Blood Elves or Dwarves. In this discussion, I would rate Dwarves higher as they tend to be at a more comfortable height for lining up in that field of work. Anyway, you're a commander, despite my guy only being created a few hours before and then running into Draenor brandishing his favourite dress. You get to meet Thrall and Valen and some other people, and you also ride these without travel insurance. Fantastic. It's all right, I guess. Wait, there's more pets? Holy shit, this is fantastic! <laughs> New Super Smash Waluigi Time Brothers Party Kart U Wii, or more commonly known by the shorthand Dave, is the most recent installment in the Nintendo Super Friends franchise. For the most part, Dave is pretty strong in all aspects, and looks beautiful. However, one thing that is very lacking when plundering the Dave experience is there's not much Waluigi. I mean, his name is right there in the title, so why is he not more prominently featured? Playing with Dave would be a perfect experience, but sadly the lack of Waluigi means I have to deduct 3 million points. I'm sorry Dave, rules are rules. Hey Luigi. I hope you made lots of spaghetti! Now I'm not sure if this has come across in my previous videos, but if there's one thing I absolutely love, it's big, hard pigeon cocks. I love the shape, the strange feathers that pulsate from its every orifice and the squeaky chirp it makes when it goes into my bottom hole. If there's another thing I love though, it's playing as the most unlikable and awful character in video game history. Hatterful Boyfriend combines both these loves and takes a joke freeware game that was sort of funny, slaps together the most thought-provoking storyline since Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, and then charges you for it on Steam. These things are afoot at the Circle K. A game where you find love in a school for birds. My question is, What's the point of paying for this awful story and terrible character-driven experience when you can just have sex with the special pigeon you love for free? Hey, 
absolutely amazing game. I purchased this game on a whim, and I don't regret it at all. Very fair price for a game which is very unique. If you're a fan of post-apocalypse games, then this is the one for you. It'll take you a few playthroughs to get the hang of it, as you're thrown into the deep with no guide on how to play the game through. This game brings you into a city caught in the middle of a civil war. You get to witness events from soldiers and rebels, some bad, some good, and some you have to watch and can't do anything about. Every time you send one of your characters out to scavenge, you are constantly worrying about what to pick up and what you need most. Every scavenge matters. I normally don't enjoy games which tend to avoid combat. However, this war of mine has pulled it off in such an amazing way. The world really does pull you in. I love the encounters with the rebels or soldiers. Real fun game. Still playing it now. I mean, I haven't ever played this game or heard of it until today, but this and Neighbors Guy's review, I just... It just pulls you in, and it should be enough, okay? Look, I didn't want to do a top 5. It's been done to death. Top 6 is a big step for the formula. But I hope it's a spin people will grow to love in time. Wait till you see this! Look! <gasps> it's incredible! Where's my cottage? Drop door! Peasant's Quest has been the top game of the years since before it was made. It's simply pretty tip-top. However, it's not just the best game in this very encompassing list. It's also a great game for the Christmas season due to its very, almost exact replication of the Santa Baby lyrics. Santa Baby, a 54 convertible to light blue. If you have a bowler, and you're gonna die sort of soon, then this is the game you should play before that thing happens. A perfect representation of a normal day in the English countryside, and it sort of smells like horse pies. Peasant's Quest is the game for you and the whole family this Christmas season that's already gone by. Order it or Trogdor will burn and everything you've ever held dear in your life. <laughs> So that's it. I know it's got a lot of similarities to other lists this year, but I hope it would have given you ideas if it hadn't been released at the wrong time. Now go home. This video is over, and Dr. Plumbum and I have an appointment to get deeper into. Pigeon cocks. A game where you find love at a school for birds. <laughs>